The next lesson is decimal numbers. This is going to be part one because I'm going to explain this uh, this uh, concept for um, for many classes. Okay, so this is part one only. Okay, what are decimal numbers? Okay, first I'm going to hide some of my slides, part of them. Okay, so what are decimal numbers? Okay, this is one whole. This is one unit, guys. If I decided to cut this one whole into 10 equal parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Each part of these 10, uh, 10 uh, each part of these 10, uh, 10 parts is going to be called what? It's going to be called 1 tenth. Why is called 1 tenth? Because it's one part of 10 from the one whole. What about if I cut this one whole into vertic um, into 10 parts vertically and 10 parts horizontally? We are going to have a new piece, 10 times 10. That means 100 parts. And that part is a small square and we are going to call it 100. Okay? So, this is one whole. Its value is 1. Okay, I'm going to pick another pen. Okay. This is one whole. Okay. Uh, the value of this one is tenth. Okay. Tenth. One. Tenth. The value of this one is one hundredth. Okay, guys. So, this is a one whole. Has been divided into ten equal parts. Each part is going to be called one tenth. And when it's going to be divided into 100 equal squares, small squares, it's going to be called 100th. Okay. This is a number, decimal number, represented using holes, tenths, and hundredths. How we read it? We read it. 2 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five Three. How we see it in real life? It is two point five three. So how we read we read it again? Two point five three. Again, two holes, five tenths, and three hundredths. We call, we read it as two. Point. The point is to divide the whole parts from the small parts. Okay, that's why we use uh, we use this point to do, uh, to separate the whole digits from the tenths and hundredths. Okay, another try. Another number. Come on. How are we gonna read this number? There is no big blocks. There is no holes. Is there any holes? No, there is zero. Zero holes. How many tenths? There is three tenths. How many hundredths? One, two, three, four. Four and three is seven. So, zero for the ones or the units digit. Point to separate the whole parts from the uh, tenths and hundredths. There is three tenths and Seven hundredths. How we read it? We read it as zero point three seven. Okay. More questions? More examples? Okay. One, two, three different examples. One, example number two. Example number three, how we write it, how we read it, okay? How many whole parts there is? There is three whole parts. 
point to separate the whole parts from the tenth and hundredths. Okay, is there any tenths? No, but we have to keep its place by putting a zero in the place of tenths. Okay, remember if there is no tenths, you have to put a zero to keep this place safe for te for the tenths. Okay, how many hundreds? There is five hundreds. How do we read it? Three point zero five. Okay, how about this one? There is no hole. There is no tenths. So we have to keep the places of the holes, point, the tenths, and the hundreds. Here's the units. Here's the tenths. Here's the hundredths. Okay, is there any units? The red blocks? No. So we put it zero. Point to separate the whole parts, the units and the tens and the hundreds. Uh, we have to, to, to put the decimal point. The tenth, there is no rods. So zero tenths. How many hundreds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is eight in the hundreds only. How do we read it? Zero point zero eight. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna give you a moment to guess how to write and read down this number, this decimal number. Great job. There is zero in the units. Point because there is no whole numbers, point, the decimal point to separate the whole places and uh, tenths and hundredths. Okay, there is one, two, three, four. So here is four tenths. Is there any units? Oh, sorry, is there any hundredths? No. You can put it as 0 0.40, or you can leave it because there is no, no more places uh, needed. It's the same as 0 0.4. Okay, so you can read it in two ways. The first way is 0 0.4. Okay. Um, I guess that's enough. There's no need to write down 4, 0 because as long as this one is, is empty um, and 0 uh, ten, uh, hundreds, there is no need to write it down. Okay, so 0 0.4. Okay, now open your learner's book, page number 52, and let's do the questions. Okay, now page number 52, question number 1, write down the value of the digit 3 in each of these numbers. So here's 3 in this place, here's 3 in this place, this question is going to be a homework. Okay guys, now what is the value of the digit 3. The value of the digit 3 is 3 tenths. Okay, can you guess what is the value of 3 here? Because this is tens, ones or units, tenths, hundredths. So, the value for 3 is 3 hundredths. Okay, THS. Okay, question number C is your homework. Write these numbers in figures. Question number two. So we are going to change it from words into figures using numbers. 15 point. The point separates the whole numbers from the, from the decimal places. So 15. This is 15.3. Seven, done. B, one hundred and five point. So you have to write down this first part, okay? One hundred and five, one hundred and five point zero five. Great job for those who guessed, okay? C is your homework.
Okay, now comparing decimal numbers. It's easy. It's just like how we used to compare uh, whole numbers with different uh, digits and places. Okay, this is a place value chart. Okay, there is a place for the units, the tens, the hundreds, and here is the place of the tenths and the hundredths. Okay, the first question, I'm going to um, solve it with the blue one. Okay, I'm going to fill these numbers into this um, uh, place value chart. Okay, so there is three in the units. In the tenth, there is zero. In the hundreds, there is four. The next number is three in the units, zero in the tenths, and five in the hundreds. Okay, so for our first question, you have to compare starting from the largest place. There is only um, in the units, three, three are equal. So we move on to the next one, zero, zero, they are equal. In the hundreds, there's difference, four and five. So definitely five is more than 3.05 is greater is greater than 3.04 okay okay the next example there is 32.4 or 3.24 okay be careful this is the point already has been um, put here there is two in the units there is three in the tens and there is four in the tenths okay there is no um there is no hundreds okay the next one 3.24 uh 3.24 okay so there is three in the units only and there is two in the tenths and four in the hundreds okay when you want to compare which one is greater you have to start comparing from the greatest place as long as this number has tens and this one doesn't have any tens, so definitely 32.4 is greater than this one, even though this one is empty. Actually, you can say there is zero hundredths there, okay? And there is zero tenths, tens in this number. So, this one starts with three, this one starts with zero, so definitely 32.4 is greater than 3.24. And for those who always mix about how to write down um, those signs, always the open side, it's pointing towards the greater number. Okay? The next question, the next example. Okay, I'm going to pick another one. Now, uh, 6.43 or 6.74. Okay, so 6 in the units. 4 in the tenths, 3 in the hundredths, now 6 in the units, 7 in the, hundred, in the tenths, and 4 in the hundredths. So, there is no, uh, um, both of them, they share the same unit. Above the tens, look, there's 4, there's 7. As long there are 7, so this one is greater than the upper one. 6.43 is less than 6.74 so this one is greater okay now since we know how to um uh to compare between these numbers question number f uh, three on page number 52 is going to be a homework sony has these four cards four six zero and a point she makes a number using all the cards what is the smallest number she can make that is greater than one that means in the units you can't put zero but you have to create the smallest number okay come on on page number uh, 52 uh it's gonna be a homework just the part b okay Question number four, A, write these five numbers in the place value chart, 0 0.7, 0 0.13, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 
0 0.08, 0 0.67. Okay, I'm going to put them here in this chart. Okay, 0 in the units, 7 in the tenths, 0 in the units, 1 in the tenths, and 3 in the hundredths. Here, 0 in the units, 4 in the tenths, the next number, 0 0.08. 0 0.67 okay so here I am I just wrote uh, wrote them down in the value chart let's continue the the question the first one has been done which is 0 0.7 I already did it question number B you can use this video to answer this one which of the five numbers are greater than 0 0.5 okay you can look at the units, look at the tenths, because this one has only one ten, uh, five tenths. You can compare from this, uh, from these uh, numbers, and you can find out which one the number that's greater than zero point five. 